I am Dr. Franklin Yao with Vanguard Vascular and Vein in Dallas, Texas. In this brief video, I will be discussing the endovascular aortic aneurysm repair, or the EVAR procedure. This is the standard of care in the treatment of a triple A, or an abdominal aortic aneurysm. I will discuss how we perform this procedure, as well as what to expect if you are undergoing this procedure. Thank you for tuning in. I will have answers to all your questions coming right up. Let's assume that you have been diagnosed with a large AAA by your physician and have been referred to a vascular surgeon for the EVAR procedure. So what is involved with the EVAR procedure and what can you expect? Prior to the EVAR procedure, vascular surgeons repair AAAs with an open abdominal surgery. This uh, usually required a large abdominal midline incision um, and is associated with a long hospitalization, a higher blood loss, and intraoperative complications. Most patients with AAAs have multiple medical problems and uh, therefore are high-risk surgical candidates. The EVAR procedure was developed and designed specifically to address these issues. Uh, this procedure can be performed without incisions, um, requires only an overnight stay in the hospital, and is associated with uh, a much lower uh, blood loss and intraoperative complications. How is this accomplished? Well, the open abdominal surgery requires opening the aneurysm sac to fix the aneurysm. The EVAR procedure is able to fix the aneurysm from inside the artery without opening the aneurysm sac. Let's take a look at how this is accomplished. A catheter is inserted into the femoral artery in the leg and advanced using fluoroscopic x-ray guidance into the inside of the aneurysm. Deployment of the graft inside the aneurysm is performed with a control handle outside the body. The graft is then adjusted and positioned so that it completely covers the aneurysm, but does not cover the arteries that supplies blood to the kidney arteries. The rest of the graft is then deployed. A balloon is then inflated to secure the graft into place so that the graft is securely fixed into place. The graft is designed as a bifurcated system supplying blood to both legs. After the graft is deployed, the sheaths are removed and the arteries are closed with a suture. Most of the time, the procedure is performed uh, without making a large incision in the leg. Patients usually stay overnight and are discharged home the next day and are able to return to their normal activity within a short period of time. Operative complications such as heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, uh, or blood loss are much lower than with open abdominal surgery. Patients are routinely monitored twice a year with the an ultrasound examination to ensure that the graft continues to function appropriately. Abdominal aortic aneurysms usually affect patients who have a history of smoking or a family history of aneurysms. The EVAR procedure can help you live longer and live better with aneurysm disease. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that this video has been educational. Please check out our other available videos about other vascular topics or subscribe to our channel.